So in our last part of the question, we were asked to find the single transformation which maps triangle A1, B1, C1 onto triangle A3, B3, C3, where A1 maps onto A3, B1 maps onto B3, and C1 maps onto C3. Now, if I should have A1, okay, A1, this is going to answer C. So A1 maps onto A3. Now, A1 has coordinates. A1 has coordinates 2, negative 1. So I have 2, negative 1. Mapping onto A3, which has negative 1, 2. And then we have B1 mapping onto B3. B1 is um, 1, negative 4, 1, negative 4. And then B3 is, um, our B3 is negative 4, 1. Okay? And then our C1 mapping onto C3. C1 is negative 1, negative 2. And then which maps onto C3? Our C3 is negative 2, negative 1. Now, if we should watch this carefully, we realize that if this is X and this is Y, okay, our XY maps onto, this goes up, okay, we have XY, then this comes down and this goes up. So we have y x okay so if you should watch carefully one negative four it became negative four one negative one negative two became negative two negative one so our x y became y x and this is a reflection in the line y equals to x reflection in the line y is equal to x or y minus x is equal to zero this is the single transformation which maps xy into what? yx, which is a1 to what? a3. So y is equal to what? x. A reflection in a line, y minus x is equal to 0, or y is equal to x. So this comes to the end of this lesson. I'll leave you with some more examples to go and try on your own. Remember, practice will make you perfect, okay? So try and practice some more. I'll leave you with some more examples to solve. Until we meet again next time, bye.